Okay, so here's my uh, driver's side uh, lens, and I'm just going to demonstrate what I'm going to be doing on this lens before tinting it on just one of them. It's identical for both sides. You know, I don't have to go through the whole process on both sides, but depending on the age and mileage of your car, you may actually notice damage to your lenses, and um, some of that can actually be taken out with ordinary toothpaste. It, as funny as that sounds, ordinary toothpaste can actually take some of this out. It's really good for taking out the um, the faded look, the uh, oxidization that happens. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how you do that. The first thing that you need to do um, is obviously clean the lenses really good using um, just regular old soap and water. Okay, I've used soap and water and I've cleaned them up as good as I can. What is remaining is actually physical scratches that I probably won't be able to um, take care of, but there's some fading that is already starting in this area here. I'm not sure how well the camera is actually going to show that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use ordinary toothpaste. And I'm going to use a sponge cloth. This is, uh, you could use a sponge. Um, there are kits out there that will do this, but in my opinion they're really expensive and pointless when you can just do it like this. Um, so I'm using this soft spongy rag to um, actually work the, um, the toothpaste in. And uh, it's actually pretty simple to do. You don't have to use a lot, but I find that when you just run it across just like that, and then take your your cloth or your sponge and just work it in and I know that it looks you know horrible I mean look at this I mean you're getting toothpaste all over your lens I know this looks bad but trust me you're going to appreciate the uh, end result and of course on the Grand Prix you want to make sure you get this top portion too which gets scratched up by things like the trunk and and whatever else may get in there but essentially just work it in you know you don't just rub back and forth and you're done you use circular motion and just work it in just work it for a while and once you've worked it for a while then you'll start to see the difference that um, toothpaste actually makes it's kind of funny how it all works, but as the toothpaste gets worked in, you'll see the lens actually clear up. Now mine weren't that bad, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of this now so that I don't have to down the road. Um, as I said, there's kits out there that will do this. I find toothpaste actually works just fine. Now if you have a severe case where you've got some real deep scratches, physical damage, you either have to get a new lens or you will have to buy one of those expensive kits that supposedly will guarantee you getting out even the 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 worst of the lens so you can see here I've worked this in pretty well um, you know you want to apply some pressure but not too much pressure you know, you don't want to make the scratches worse. And once you're done with that, which probably am pretty good right now, then you just take your soap and water and wash it off. And, you know, if I were outside, I would actually use a hose to do this, but because I'm not. I'm just going to use my soap and water rag and that will make sure that I get all the toothpaste off and out and you just wash it really good try to get all the toothpaste that's in this uh, rubber piece here this, uh, this lining get it all on top here just kind of clean it up really good okay I know it's probably hard to tell on camera but I can tell in person that it has improved the clearness of this lens. Some of the 
gouges that are actually in the lens from either a rock, uh, you know, maybe even possibly a bug or whatever, that's not going to come out. Um, but it went ahead and cleared up this lens pretty nice. It was already pretty nice, but this just went a little bit extra. You know, just kind of make sure that you, um, you know, dry it off really good.